We're going to use base 10 blocks to model long division. In this particular problem, we have a two digit number, 57. That means it has tens and it has ones. So we're going to need tens and ones blocks in order to build 57. So we're going to need seven ones, so we'll have seven of these ones cubes, and we'll need five tens, so we'll have five of these tens rods. Once you put them in front of you, you can put them together if you want. I've separated them here so you can see them a little easier, more visually. And I've put my ones in a row of five and two, so again, it's easy to see right away how many I have. But there's 57 built with five tens and ones. Now, how are we going to divide these into three groups? Well, on a piece of paper, you can draw a big rectangle that's going to be big enough to fit at least one of your tens in it, um, a couple of them, and you want to build three of those. Or you can just set aside an area, uh, but it's probably best if you draw three rectangles at first to give you an idea of dividing these 57 blocks into three groups. And while we're using the blocks, I'm going to be showing you the standard algorithm over here so that you can see what's going on um, when you divide each and every step. And our first step is going to be to divide the tens. Well, what number is in the tens column? It's a 5. Now, 5 is in the dividend, and it's being divided by 3. 3 is the divisor. If the divisor is bigger than the dividend, then you're not going to be able to divide by tens. But for this model, we can, because there's 5 tens, and we're dividing them into 3 equal groups. So we're going to take one of those tens and put it over here into one of my 3 groups, grab another 10, put it into another, the second group, grab a third 10, put it into the third group, and now I have, if you look, two 10s left over that I cannot divide equally into the three groups. So I'm done dividing the 10s. So in the algorithm, we would write a 3 underneath the 5 to show that we put three 10s into our groups. And that means we use three tens out of the five. How many tens are in each group? One. That's the part of the quotient up here is our answer. So, so far, dividing 57 by three, we come up with one even group of tens for each of the three groups. And that means we have two tens left over, right? So in the standard algorithm, we do five minus the three that we divided leaves us with two more tens that have to be dealt with somehow. But we can't divide them by three. So what are we going to do with them? We're going to regroup them, which means we're going to break apart these two rods of tens and turn them into ones, like this. With your base ten blocks, you'll want to grab one of these groups of tens and turn it into ten ones. I'm just going to take each and every little cube here and move it over quickly. I'll keep them in rows of five again so it's visually easy to see what's going on. And I'm just going to take all of these cubes from my 20 that I had in my two tens and I'm going to make them ones so that I can divide them by three. So I no longer have two extra sets of tens. I've broken them down all into ones, and how many ones do I have? I have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 27. And so that's with your cubes. In the algorithm, you're going to take the 7 that you had, and you're going to bring it down. That's what they'll teach you next to the 2 to represent that you now have 27 ones that we're going to divide. Now, if you'll remember when we were talking about subtraction and we borrowed and we had to regroup and I told you that this was an illegal number well temporarily this is an illegal number because you can't have 27 ones in the ones column <laughs> we can only have nine in our base 10 system but we're gonna put 27 in there only because we need to divide them into three okay getting that so there's 27 ones left here and in the standard algorithm there's 27 ones left here that we can now divide by 3. And we will divide those ones into the three groups just like we did before. 
when we were dividing the tens, one at a time. So let's grab them. Take one of your blocks and move it in. One, two, three. One at a time, put them in. We want them to be done evenly. Come on, there we go. But what's better than saying one, two, three is probably to count how many are going into each group, which is going to give us a better answer. There's two in each group. There's three in each group, right? There's four in each group. See where I'm getting at? We're going to keep doing this until we have all of those 27 ones now distributed evenly into each of the three groups. And you'll notice that there's two, four, six, eight, nine. Two, four, six, eight, nine in each of the three groups. So that's the number we write up here. How many ones were we able to put in each group? Nine. And that's because nine times three is 27. That's what you do in the standard algorithm now. We had to think 27 divided by 3. Well, that's 9. Nine, go, 9 times 3 is 27. Now we're going to subtract. And fortunately, we have 0 left over, so there's no remainder. Notice how there's nothing left here. If we still had some 1s here, then that would be a remainder as long as they're less than our divisor. If we had 4 1s here, then we made a mistake. And we would have to still distribute 3 of them into here. But nothing left over in this case. There was 19 with nothing left over. So using the base 10 blocks, we took 57, 5 groups of 10s, 7 groups of 1s, and we divided them by dividing the 3 10s, breaking up the two remaining 10s, thinking of them as 27 1s, taking those 27 1s and dividing them into the three groups until we had 9 in each group. So that means we had 19 cubes in each group, shown with a 10 and 9 1s.